Hello and welcome to this video brought to you by the Lois Art. My name is Emmanuel Okafo and I hope you guys are doing well and having a wonderful day. In this video, which will be the first of many series, probably um, two to three videos, I will be showing you how to use the new Popa Pro Animate add-on for Blender. In this video, we'll be looking at how to use the Rig Creator. So if you're interested in using this add-on, the link will be in the description. So you can just watch this video and see if it's for you. Um, Popa itself allows you to basically set up your custom rigs to use our animation feature. Um, but once you have a rig creator to enable you to create your own rig if you choose to go that route. First thing you want to do is to move all the assets which you want to rig into a particular collection. So let's select everything and move, create a new collection. We can right click here, create new collection. So we'll call this model and then we'll select all the objects and just drag it into the model collection. So we have everything set inside that collection now. The next step is if you go to the recreator, we can see it asks you to select a collection. So we select that collection and click on create new rig. So let's go over the UI quickly. Uh, we have back. So this is basically going back if you don't wanna, if you wanna, if you change your mind, um, basically. Uh, if you create on that, you have the ability for symmetry. Um, so if you have an asymmetric character, you can choose to set the point how you want it to match that character and at any time you can click on symmetry to go back and let's go back again okay so next we have a reference image basically a guide to show you where to put each point so it's, it kind of helps you so you if you are lost you can always say oh this is where i'm gonna kind of place it and one thing you will notice is we have the snap feature enabled um, and sets to volume so it basically allows you to automatically just grab your the points and just start placing them in the right pos um, position so using the reference you can look at how it looks you don't have to be 100 percent accurate at this phase uh, because you you still have the preview meta rig phase where you can actually go in and tweak the bone position to match exactly what you want so it's um it's kind of gives you a lot of artistic freedom um to feel like you can actually really control every single thing. Okay, so the finger is the part that takes the longest, um, but it's pretty straightforward. You just drag each point, place one at the top, place one at the bottom. The proximity to each other doesn't matter so much. Um, for if you have like three fingers, you can just, uh, if you have three fingers, you can just um, place the tree here, leave the extra one you don't want, um, preview the rig, and later you can just delete um, the bones which you don't want. Um, but for this instance, since we have complete um, five fingers, um, let's just place it there. Look, everything looks good. Um, we'll move this forward slightly and preview the rig. Okay, so like I mentioned, at this phase you can go in and tweak things. To make sure it looks good just place the other bones where you want them to be um, importantly you want to watch out for the knees so usually you want to push them out so that it kind of indicates where the the pole is going to bend it's just since it's using an IK rig you want that at that position this is where the knees are located it's just basic basic rigging um, knowledge especially if you're using I if you plan to use IK okay so once you set it up uh, you can just click on mine and that's that for the rigging so if we move this uh, let's say you don't like the way the knees are kind of bending in what you want them to kind of go outwards you can control Z and come back to this and you just adjust it so it works with undo uh, which is quite very is very helpful so that you can actually get it to be exactly what you want it to be okay so i like the way it's looking and the head okay so that's basically the recreator it's straightforward like that i think it just took, took us roughly five minutes uh, for the next step is looking at the rig utilities so i wanted to put features that are intuitive and straightforward to use 
Um, so you have the view deformer bone. So if you want to wait paint your character, you have easy access, and you can choose to also preview the controller bones, so to test out the rig. So one thing we want to fix immediately is the this night this very weird deformation on the face. It's usually typical when you're using the blender automatic weight bi binding, especially for the head. It's it's tricky like this. So we want to fix it. So we can enable the view deformer bone. Select the part of the object which you want to fix. Go into weight paint. So you want to select the right bone, and basically you can go in and start painting. Oh, a very nice fast way to I usually go about it. So once I select the bone, I can jump jump into edit mode. I will go into edit mode and go into wire, and then just select it. So I use the lasso. Select lasso, select it, and when I come here, I will click on assign. So by default, once you select any bone, it's automatically selects it there. So let's go back to the weight paint mode again. So we can see it has painted everything right, basically flood in it. Uh, one thing I usually like to do is because I want a nice blending, so I will also go and smooth. It's going to smooth out the blending. So we want to also select the neck and make sure it has no influence over the head. So we can go into edit mode by hitting tab and just removing and tab out. So we've kind of cleaned that out. Okay. So now when we move the head, we get the right deformation. Okay. So once you're done, you can remove the view deformer and everything is good. Uh, but we can notice we have this problem here. This is not good, so we want to fix it. And we have a tool called Clean Bind that is basically going to allow you fix that. Okay? So, um, before that, let's make sure everything is looking good. Okay, so it just has one amateur. So the, the problematic area right now is um, basically just this portion, so we want to fix it. So right now, if I select this rig and click on Clean Bind, let's see what we get. Okay, it's done. And now if we move this, we can see we have that issue fixed. Okay? Uh, but the problem with this is if we move this, we can see we kind of messed up the fingers. Basically, we're using voxel binding method to handle it and it kind of created new problem. So let's go back. So we have the finger working as expected right here and the head should be working as expected perfect so we, now we want to use the clean bind and just fix a particular section so one way to do it is to basically the way you create selection for this is basically um, if you have this selected the clean bind feature will ignore the selected part and just handles the uh, and just fi uh, fix the parts that are not selected okay so it's bas this is basically like a mask tool. So if you ma max this, it's going to ignore this and bind this. Um, but if we have multiple objects, it's quite difficult for us to go into all the objects and select them and select them. So a very nice quick way to do this is to just move this into a quick collection. We set the collection here, collection four, because this is where it's deriving the collection information from. And once we select that collection, we want to just go into this object and select the part where we don't want to mess up since we already like this. And now we can just select the rig. Then you have access to this and claim bind. And it's done. Now if we move it, we can see it fixed the issue. So it's not 100% because we didn't um, add the, the body. So if we, want it to do it, if we want it to be better, we just need to move this character into the next the collection four and let's select all the parts where we want to keep and then the deselected part we'll just click on clean bind okay so it's done now and we can see it's way better and every other thing works as expected so this is the way you can use the clean bind feature it's just little tools but it really assists you and actually fixes lots of problems um, so that will be for this particular video. I want to I wanted to make it very short and straightforward. 
Uh, if you have any questions, leave it in the comments. I will offer you any personal guidance if you want. You can just email me for that. Um, the link will, for this product will be in the description. So if you're interested in checking it out, um, please do. Uh, yeah, but if you and also if you've bought this product before, like the old Papa Adam, which I released a um, couple of years ago, if you if you had purchased that, you, um, you just check your order. Um, there's a discount for you um, when upgrading to the new Papa. Okay, so thank you. I'm um, seeing you in the next video.